What's up, everybody? This is my first official episode of Faith and Fishing. Um, I'm excited about it. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Um, as you saw in the uh, introductory video, um, this is a passion of mine. So I, I said I was going to do a, 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 a episode today of, um, of what all men need to be. And uh, before we go further, I think it's, it's good that we quote our verse that led us here. And Jesus told them that I will make you fishers of men. That, that's why we're here. We're trying to catch men. Um, and so I think that through this, we'll achieve our goal, whether you like fishing or not. I think that you will be um, entertained. I think that you will be uh, more knowledgeable. And I think that you'll be better off for having tuned in. I'm not going to hold you long because as you can see, let me step out the way. That's water behind me. And where there's water, there's fish. And if there's fish, I'm trying to catch them. So I think that uh, all men need to be a papa. P-A-P-A. -P -A. Yep, all men, we need to be papas. P-A-P-A. -P -A. The first P is simply to be present. There's nothing more than you can do for your family. You can do for your kids, for your wife, wh whomever, for work being present and i think that we forget that sometimes being present means so much it's something to know that they're there like growing up i honestly i, I didn't have it that much i didn't but i made sure and i told myself that for my children they would have it. they would have my presence it does not matter what it is what they're doing they will have my presence whether it's uh donuts for dads whether it's on the road celebration uh, whether it's uh, cross country, whether it's um, uh, 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 soccer, basketball, baseball, whatever it is, they can count on me to be there because as a man, our children need our presence. Now, um, you ain't got to be loud like I, I am because when I go to the soccer games, I just be screaming and yelling and bring them reach over there and tell them you, you too loud. You, you scaring the kids. And they've told me that, Dad, you, you kind of too loud. We don't need you to be that loud. So I kind of toned it down. But you know what? They know that I'm there. They, they know that I'm there. So you, you need to be present for your children. I think it's great to know that when your children look out, that they can see you. That's all. They just need to see you. And you being there tells them that you are important enough that I love you enough that I'm going to be here for you. That's what it is. It's just simply saying I'm here for you. So you got to be present. And then another thing you have to be, um, you got to be accessible. You can be present and that's good. But while you're there, make sure you're accessible. If, if you notice when Jesus came here or when he walked this earth, he was present. But you know what? He was accessible. People could walk right up to him. People did whatever they could to get to him. And he never shunned them or told them, I, I don't want you near me. I can't do anything for you. He was accessible. And I think that as men, one of the things we need to be, we need to be accessible for our children. We need to let them know that if they need to come to us, then we will be there for them to come to. Again, growing up, I, I didn't have that. I, I, I didn't have that male figure where I felt comfortable that I could go to and talk to. The accessibility was not there. It, it, it was not there for me when I had problems, when I had issues, when I had questions, when, when I just wanted to know something, when I just wanted to say something. Um, there was no no male figure that I felt. That was accessible for me, and I'm not saying some of you don't have that, but I know what I didn't have. I didn't have that accessibility. And so as a man, I told myself, I'm going to make sure that I'm accessible to my children. I'm going to make sure that whenever they need me. They can reach me, whether it's by text, whether it's by phone call, whether it's by knocking on the door, uh, whatever it is, leaving a note. I want them to know that I'm always accessible to them. And as a man, as a man, our children need us. Yes, they need their moms, too. And I'm not discrediting moms. But as men, God put us here to lead. God put us here uh, 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 to be the example to show our families how it's done. What kind of example would I be setting if when my kids needed me, I was nowhere to be found? What kind of example would I be setting if when my kids needed me, they couldn't find me? So as a man, be accessible to your children. And then the, the, the other P, be prepared 
For what? I don't know. Whatever you think might come up, be prepared. As you see, I'm out here fishing. I'm going to show you my backpack so y'all can go ahead and laugh at it. Spider-Man. I love Spider-Man. In this backpack, I'm prepared. I'm prepared for whatever's out there. If I see them playing on top of the water, I got a top water bait for them. If I, if I hear them splashing, I got something to go down deep for them. If, if, if I look out and I see a ripple, I got something I can throw and come through with them. I'm prepared in this bag. I got hooks. I got lead. Um, I, I got what I need to get the job done. Whatever it is I need to get the job done. I also got my water. San Francisco, baby, you know, 49ers, bang, bang. I got my water because I'm prepared. And yes, there may be times where things come up where we may not have prepared for. But the next time I'll be ready for that thing because it's a possibility that that thing could come up. And with a family, with children, with a wife, you have to make sure that you are prepared. You, you got to make sure that you are ready for the challenge at hand. Because, look, being a man is challenging in this world today. Your manhood is questioned. Your masculinity is questioned. Your intelligence is questioned. Your knowledge is questioned. Everything about you is going to be questioned because the devil's job is to throw us off our game. And if there are no men in the home, if there are no men leading, what's going to become of our young boys? What's going to become of our young girls who need a man as they get older to marry? What, what example are we setting? So prepare yourself for whatever. I got a, a teenage daughter, and Lord knows I get scared every time she opens her mouth and asks me a question because I don't know what she's about to ask me. And usually my response would be, go ask your mama. But sometimes mama ain't around. Sometimes I can't get a hold of mama. Sometimes uh, mama is tired of sleep and there's no need for me to wake her up. So you know what? I got to be prepared to deal with that. I got, I got to be prepared to talk to her. I got to be prepared to show her. And that's just part of life. As you live, as you learn, you grow. You, you, you grow. It, it's, it's never going to be, I got it all together. It, it's always going to be something. But when those somethings come up, Learn from those somethings. So the next time that something come up, you'll be prepared on how to deal with it. That's what we have to do. As men, we must prepare ourselves to lead. We must prepare ourselves to teach. We must prepare ourselves to provide. We must prepare ourselves to be the example. That, that's what God instilled in us to do. And so I just got to be prepared to do those things. Yes, it's going to take work. But the reward is so worth it and then the last a that all men need to be a papa we need to be accountable to our children we need to be accountable to them um they didn't ask to be here they did and and you know that it takes two to tangle it does and and yes the mama has something to do with it too but i guarantee that we did too they didn't ask to be here. So be accountable to your children. Let them know that they are here because of you and you are responsible for them. And see, being accountable is, is, is similar to opening up to them. Like if, if, if you promised them something that you were going to do and you couldn't do it, don't just tell them, uh, I just couldn't do it, don't worry about it. No, be accountable. Let them know why. They'll appreciate it more. If they knew the reasoning why you were not able to do something. Well, they children, they need to stay in the children's place. That is true, but I was the one who made the promise to this child. So as a man, I need to stay in a man's place. As a man, I need to be accountable to my children and tell them, hey, we just couldn't do it this time. I thought we were going to be able to do it, but for whatever reason, it just didn't happen the way that I thought it was going to happen. Be accountable to them. It, it goes a long way. Let them know that you are human. You make mistakes. You make flaws. Your life is an open book. That's how you be accountable to your children. Be accountable to your spouse. Let your spouse know why it didn't go or why you didn't do. Whatever it is, accountability matters. And it goes a long, long way. So look, hey man, let's be papas. All right, Let, let's be papas. Okay, let's, 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 let's be, um, I forgot what the first P was already present there it is because i'm here let's be present and then the 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 second the first a was we have to be um accessible 
We got to be prepared and we got to be accountable. Look, as a man, it's going to be tough. We already know that. God is counting on us to show this world what we need to be. God is counting on us to show our children how to live. God is counting on us to lead our families, our wives, that, that's our community. God is counting on us to do that. So let's be papas. So that's my message for you today. That, that's my message for the men today, to go out and be papas. Remember what Jesus says. He says um, that I have come to make you fishers of men. I'm not concerned about you catching fish. Good if you do. Great if you do. You might not even fish. Whatever you do, be good at it. My concern is with us catching men to be more like the master. That, that's my concern. To be more Christ-like. That, that's my concern. That, that's what I want to catch. Men. So that we can turn this world upside down. So we can show this world what God intended for us to be. So look, that's my part of faith. As I told you in the... Um, introductory episode some days we might fish some days we might talk about faith uh some days we might do both so i'm about to get ready and hit this water and see what i can pull out of there but before i go i do want to show you um what i'm working with today so first thing i got i got a fluke i got a fluke uh, i fish it uh sometime fast if i see some some um movement in the water i throw it that way and then i'll i'll slow it down a little bit i'll let it drop to the bottom and then I'll give it a couple of whips, let it drop to the bottom, give it a couple of whips. And the thing about the fluke, I learned this on YouTube, if you take a nail weight and stick it in the head of the fluke, it'll keep it down under the water. Because if you don't have the nail weight, every time you whip it, it's gonna jump up out the water. So I learned this from a guy off uh, YouTube. Uh, put a, a nail weight in here and I'll, I'll maybe do an episode on what I saw because what I'm doing is learning and I'm teaching. So I'm, I'm gonna throw my fluke. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna throw a tube. I, I just started fishing with tubes uh, this past summer. I've caught maybe one or two. I missed a big one on it, so I said I'm gonna try it again. Um, it's, it's just the same thing. Drop it in the water, and you give it a couple of pops, and when it's in the water, it darts. So you do that. Throw it, pop it. That, that's one of the things I'm gonna use. Another thing I'm going to use is a swim bait. I use a swim bait just about every time I go, paddle tail swim bait. You can speed it up, you can slow it down, you can throw it around cover. Uh, make sure you get it, uh, if you see if it sticks in the water and stuff like that, you want to kind of retrieve it a little faster so it don't get hung up as much. But you'll feel the bite, you, you'll feel it when they're on there. You'll know when you got a fish on a swim bait. So I'm going to throw a paddle tail swim bait. Yep, I got some more. I know you ain't saying, dog, Rav, you got a lot of reels. I do. You got to be prepared. Just talked about that. All right, the next thing I'm going to throw is a crawfish crawfish and I just let this drop to the bottom I give it a couple of uh, pops on my rod to make it jump just a little bit not a whole lot of action just a little action make it jump make it jump don't get a bite reel it on in throw it back out make it jump make it jump and and I've caught one I missed one uh, about a about a week ago Probably the biggest fish I've ever seen in my life that I missed. Jumped up out the water, snapped my line, and I was devastated. But I hooked him on this right here. I hooked him on this. So I'm going to try him again. And then the last thing I'm going to throw is a brush hog. They come in different sizes. This is the big brush hog. As it drops in the water, it goes down. Those tail, those legs flutter and kick. And then you do it just like you would that crawfish. You give it a couple of taps with your reel couple of pops with the reel it bounces up and goes back down bounces up and goes back down so I'm, I'm looking to see if I can catch something on the bottom uh, this evening and and that that's my fishing so look enjoy life enjoy what you do if you have children if you have a family be a man be a papa today and teach somebody else how to be a papa even if they're not your children as men, it's our responsibility to teach other men, teach young men, teach boys, be an example, be a leader. So look, if I catch something, I'll let you know. If I don't, I'm not going to post any pictures. So I'm going to let the video run a little bit so I have a little space to post some pictures if I catch anything. 
So I'm probably gonna let it run for maybe a minute or so. And then I'll use that space to post any pictures. If the video gets cut short, that means I didn't catch anything. And guess what? Sometimes I don't catch a thing, but I still enjoy myself while I'm out here. Peaceful, quiet, a time to reflect, a time to think about what God has done for me, a time to just enjoy the, 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 the majesty of God, his creation. God did this. And I'm going to be at peace while I'm out here. So look, I'm going to let this video run for about a minute or two. And I'm going to see if I can uh, catch something. And if I catch something, I'll post it. If I don't, I'm not. Won't be the first, won't be the last. But look, until next time, faith and fishing. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Y'all have a good day.